This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. I'm going to call the uh, Public Safety Building Committee to order order on April 8th at uh, five minutes to five. Um, could we have a note taker? <laughs> um, and the meeting is going to be is being recorded. We are now going to try to limit it to. 5:30. Still, we were. Uh, let's hope we can, um, but keep it to that. And Scott, can are you able to put up um, the HKT PowerPoint mm -hmm. for us? Thanks. Um, do we need to go through the whole? Can, let, I would suggest that we go directly for the moment to slides. 28, 29, and 30 to get those completed for them, and then we can maybe go over the others. I, we do need to address uh, <coughs> their query about removing the, the red road lines on the maps. Um, but if is okay. So I, um, I wasn't sure that it would be the greatest idea to include the bullet, um, the last one about becoming available because that's kind of a, People are wondering <laughs> um, about the expense of having those extra buildings. It doesn't maybe seem like a mm -hmm. benefit to be having two new, two empty facilities. Do you, but I'm just making a comment. <laughs> so please, please. Um, well, on the one hand, it is a selling point. Maybe. That they would the other they're available for other uses. Okay, well, and indeed they will be, but they will to to create other or to make them into facilities or structures that can be used. That's an additional expense to the town and a considerable one. The negative is that you have ongoing maintenance and operation of these two buildings. Yeah, two empty buildings basically. You know, it might create some false expectations there too, but it could be a selling point. But I think that, if anything, we've sort of probably been leaning more to the fire station not being really functional for much mm. of anything going forward, whereas the town hall probably is. True. Well, storage wasn't wasn't there consideration of using some uh, department using the firehouse for storage? They they talked about it. But nothing. Nobody's really come forward and say, yeah, we want it, or... Right. Yeah, if we haven't really discussed it, should we be discussing nope. it? Uh, no. Nope. We're just off the top of our head, so unless mm -hmm. we actually pursued and looked at that. So you wouldn't leave it in? I would vote to leave it. I feel like... Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be a question to brought up, and we can say that that was not part of our... Right, that's not charge. our committee, right? Yeah, it was in charge of the committee to decide what to do with the old buildings. That's correct. Well, do we want that slide in there? Is there enough information <laughs> there that we want that? Um, well, and the first two points, do we not? That, that was about, didn't we have some ideas of what it would cost to try and relocate the fire? You have to rent a, a facility somewhere plus yeah, there was a. Um, didn't you have a figure on that? Yeah, yeah it was like uh, what happened Greenfield did it. I think it was a uh, two and a half million. Yeah, fits for rentals. Two point five million. That was Greenfield. Greenfield, yeah. 
but just for the rental of a new facility, of a temporary facility, right? Right. Plus HKT, I said that uh, 210 was a more expensive site design. Yeah. Is that true that you can't achieve accreditation with the current buildings? Are they not accredited now? Uh, is the accreditation the, like the police department or is it the building itself is not accredited? I don't understand. Yeah, accredited for what and by who? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, no, police usually can be accredited by the national organization. Right. Yeah. And I think they are. Are they not? I don't I'm not sure, but yeah, I was just saying that yeah, I would imagine they're accredited because they're they're a, a functioning, uh, you know, police department. But uh, it's it seems to say that they will not be able to achieve accreditation, which means we don't have an accredited police department with the current buildings. <laughs> Is that where did that <laughs> comment come from? Is that from, from HBK? Yeah, HBK. It's, it's, it's a similar comment that they use in other towns. So uh, they wonder if we want to use this too. Well, is it a factual statement is my first question. Well, yeah. it, it's just open-ended. It, it doesn't, it's not uh, specific enough. Yeah. You know, there's not enough information. I almost think this slide is not that helpful for yeah, us. It's almost I don't think, yeah, yeah. I, I don't it's, think I'm, yeah. 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 I, I'm moving toward not even including that slide yeah, period because I don't think it really. Vacating, we still have to maintain them and eat them. Yeah. You know, all parts. I, I think it's just going to open questions in my mind. All right, so uh, this was slide 28, I think. Can you tell? Yeah. I think that was slide 28, so we'll get rid of that. <clears throat> and this is where they needed some figures. Were you able to put some figures into this, Chris? No, <laughs> I don't know how to figure these <coughs> things out in terms of the uh, <coughs> country lines. Cotton Bradley to do that one. Partly, we got to figure out what would be coming off the debt, yeah. which I think you've had a preliminary discussion with Jen about what's coming off soon, what that value is, um, and what you know, what hole there would be to replace that with new debt. I guess, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, we do have to figure out. Um, I mean, the way they've got that written up there, so we were talking originally, <coughs> right, the purchase of the of land itself, so acquisition would be a debt exclusion, because that would be a short-term, smaller amount, and then we were going to aim for capital request for um, the uh, pre-construction architectural design, that $3 million, correct? Mm -hmm. And then any real borrowing would be at the construction stage. And that's what I remember our discussion being. So I wasn't sure if that's how we want to present that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the one that's going to be any, any long-lasting in terms of people's taxes is going to be when we get to the real borrowing part, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's a temporary hit with the, <clears throat> with the acquisition. But hopefully that would be really temporary if we can you know, decide what we're doing with that. Yeah. Um, what do you mean the acquisition? The land. And that that's not is that is that's separate from us, right? But it's the people are still gonna be people are still gonna have to pay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, so is this do we have enough information to offer this slide or just try to field questions about cost in the Q and A? My expression in previous town meetings is once you start quoting numbers, other people will get up and, and start quoting other numbers uh, about what exactly what debt we owe and what debt we're paying off and when they're. I think we, if we present this, we have to have exact information. I think I would feel better just because we haven't, we're not asking the town, this is not a town meeting, I mean a town meeting, <laughs> annual town meeting, this is just an informational meeting that yes, we will be when the time comes, we will be offsetting some of the debt with, uh, you know, um, uh, falling off other debts. We don't have those numbers yet. So. 
So Scott, will you be able to answer those questions in, in that way, in genera General. generalities, or do you feel like you haven't been here long enough to be able to I, I, confidently answer them? I think we need to have a longer meeting about the debt, just because if you look at a lot of the stuff that's coming off, it's like dump trucks and you know stuff like yeah. that. But that's stuff that's going to be put back on in a couple of years, anyways. But what I'm, I guess, what I'm asking is, on Wednesday, when the question arises, um, can you s stand up and say that it, we don't have the figures yet for this <laughs> and this reason, um, rather than having one of us, unless it's Chris bumble along trying to yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I well, I mean, you, you want to lay out that idea of strategy of, of the three pot, possible pots of money or not even go there? Like, you know, like for acquisition, we are thinking short-term debt exclusion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for mm -hmm. the pre-construction phase, we're looking at grants and or capital requests. And then when we ever get to the construction phase, yes, that would be a borrowing, but we don't have those right. figures now. But we don't have any figures now, but you, certainly the process could be described. Right. And you could answer, you could therefore jump in on that one too, Chris, since um, you're... Just going back to uh, when the chief and I went to meet with the um, finance committee uh, to talk about the $3 million for design, they were very much poo-poo on that. And why would we spend $3 million on design on something we don't know is going to be approved? It was better to go for a 39, which included right. the design fee. Um, so I think they, that was a concept we had talked about, mm -hmm. right. 3 right. million, but the finance committee was very much against it. And I think the chief said he agreed with that yes. concept. And uh, I sort of did too. People are hard time voting on Three million dollars, but we don't have any idea whether or not the construction money will be advanced. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think it's uh, uh, <coughs> my opinion that uh, yeah. the three million was a little confusing. So he was saying to not make it a capital request, but to combine it with the yeah. actual. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thirty-nine million included its own fee. Right. Okay. So with, if you remember last year, we had tried the um, just sorry, briefing on the grants. We tried the one-stop program. Scott right. and I had a meeting, a telecom with the, um, the program people related to that, and they said, don't even put in your expression of interest, essentially. We don't really want to focus on construction. So mm -hmm. that grant really is not available. Yeah. <laughs> so all the work we tried to yeah. do on that last year didn't help. No. Um, but uh, there was also last year requests from Senator Markey and Senator Warren's office for what they call these congressionally directed spending requests that are kind of like they can put in an earmark in the budget for certain projects or favorite projects or whatever. So that was a, an expression of interest that had to be in to them um, by last Friday. <laughs> so uh, I quickly uh, did one on behalf of the committee, which I apologize for not letting you know that ahead of time, but the deadline was, was upon us, which I didn't even realize. I had not gotten the email saying it was even open. Um, last year we had asked for 750000 and didn't get far, but we were really writing in cyberspace because we, we weren't even anywhere like we are now with this feasibility study I mean I right. was I was writing in some kind of you know future world that didn't even exist right yeah. so I felt a little bit better putting some things down on this one and so with the notion of this three million dollars for um, design work I threw in a request for 1.3 million so probably won't go anywhere but I figured about that <laughs> what our name is anyway so it's in and when you put in one application it goes to both Markey and Warren's office so yeah. whatever we won't hear for months but <coughs> you know can't hurt to ask yeah. so so that was the only thing that came up so the, the other grant one is out the door until we find any other source so just to say that that's as far as we've gotten on that but so we can say that we've you know reached out to our, le our state legislators and tried to get mm -hmm. some money we've gotten access already from our, uh, sorry, the, our, our congressional legislators. Um, we've already gotten money from the state legislature, from Senator Vilas's office for the study, for the feasibility mm -hmm. study. So we're, we're not sitting here with hands out looking for the taxpayers. <coughs> pay we're trying to, you mm -hmm. know, use our networks and our connections to, you know. So maybe, Chris, you would like to I can feel that, that question. I can talk about that a little bit, sure. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, so eliminate this slide as well. Yeah, I think yeah, the, the topic will be raised, and I think this may be confusing. That's why. And um, Scott, please put us to the next slide. I don't know whether this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. So this was slide thirty. Um, And they wondered whether we wanted this as the final slide. Um, I don't think it necessarily, and, and at the time they prepared that, uh, we were going to ask the town meeting to approve. I think uh, at the uh, meeting yeah. next, next Wednesday, when you mention that, they'll be thinking of the May yes, town will. meeting, and we're really talking about September. <clears throat> So we'll get rid of all three that they had, yeah. this, this slide as well. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, Scott, would you kindly backtrack to the one of the um, site plan? Uh, where that had the, the red outline for the road. Yeah. Um, Work. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, let's stop on this one for a minute because they argued that uh, this these were the maps they got from from GIS. I think they. You parked about this, yeah. Uh, so um, they questioned whether they would take off the green filter, or can we just? And she she also said that they're not going to be spending time on this. So mm -hmm. do we want to? Um, be so particular? Um, I guess the only thing that I would have is um, I, I heard a comment, I pretty agree with him, but it just the outline of the parcels was a little confusing. I think in bold, I think if we just could bold up the okay. red, that I think would, you know, and maybe then you could explain that, you know, this is the outline of the red and this is what was proposed to be purchased by now. Okay. It is very confusing, really. Right. Yeah. Um, they just outlined a bit, I think, be fine. Yeah. I was wondering, too, if, if that last one, especially, which is one that we're focusing on, if that is if that reflects what we had agreed to and had them change for these signboards. Because that has a that future roadway on the right-hand right yeah. side, which, I mean, again, they'll be small here, but if they're putting that one on the signboard, I forget exactly what we told them to do or not do on the signboard, but I just, I just didn't want to have things that were mm -hmm. the same. That was just my only question. Mark. Yeah. Well, it <clears throat> so we Didn't they it? say, didn't they, uh, Chris, do you have their late, yeah, you have the latest um, comments that they made. <clears throat> didn't they say, that they'd have to work from a different source to get a map that didn't have the red line for the proposed roadway. Uh, I've never seen that. Okay. The proposed roadway was uh, <coughs> what the uh, engineers originally had for information, right. and that's what they went with. Yeah. Um, right. Everything okay. changed so since then, so that's basically the maps that they had. Yeah. That's and, uh, that's right. right. And uh, yeah. they can explain that. Yeah. See, that, that's the thing, I think, that <clears throat> rather than making them scramble, mm -hmm. right. um, we can just, if, if a question comes up, I don't know that people are going to be looking at it that yeah. if, with such a scrutinizing eye. Right. Right. People might have a hard time just figuring out, getting oriented, you know, yeah, what's yeah. College Highway and what's... Right. Uh, and, and, and that can be, I guess, pointed out. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this is a quick slide to say why we didn't take. I, don't think I think that was the point she made, that yeah. they weren't going to dwell on this. Yeah. And according to you, Chris, in the light of the, um, <clears throat> of the auditorium, these maps will hardly be able to be read. Very difficult to read. Yeah. So I, I think we don't need to. Okay, don't need to worry about it too much. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, well, there's. They had one more question on one slide. Was the um, 
That one. So they want to, if we had the original with all the color and line work, I don't know what we're talking about exactly here. I think we asked them to take the road off here too, didn't we? Right. Yes. Well, no, isn't that that red future roadway? It's that yeah. there, but it's, that's... It's, it's really not a future roadway. Yeah, it's it's not, that's why I thought that was confusing. Yeah, I mean, I, that should know. be taken out. Yeah, yeah, we mentioned that. But again, that may be, uh, is that <clears throat> not able to be explained away? And it might be in there if the town does not purchase the entire parcel, right? True, but for our purposes, I think they probably just be muddying the water. Well, it would be. So, um, Scott, Scott, can you uh, tell me what slide number that is? Uh, 11. So, um, <clears throat> Basically, yeah, they think they're saying that this is what they have is one picture. Right. And they don't have the overlays. This is what was provided to them. Right. right. So who provided this thing to them? Oh, I guess. Well, we did, they had to get the red. We, we didn't provide that to them, did, did I mean, we? I think they had a copy of the preliminary subdivision plan, and they, uh, the, they had the earlier slides show the whole proposed uh, uh, development. They just pulled that off of there. Someone did this overlay on the satellite picture. Yeah, I mean that, that's just mass GIS, um, you know, mass mapper. You can get all this information. Um, can they not go back in and just undo a layer? I mean, yeah. is that something we have to send them? No, yeah, I mean they, they can do that off a of mass mapper, and it, it's, uh, it's not a. It says, okay. that, it says that we provided this image. Right. I don't know who provided the image. Hmm. Did anybody? Well, Mark, you're right. I mean, that's just anybody just can go into mass magic. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems like we just yeah, just say, you know, can you can you go into mass mapper and just take off that layer that shows that roadway? Well, the like, mass mapper would not have. The red roadway on it. Right. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure. Someone sure. added that yeah. on top. I see. But they're saying that that was provided <clears throat> to them. Right. And they're looking for the original. So So they do not have the whole 54 acre map that we've got? Well, uh, I think that in one of it's a, a black line drawing. Um, somewhere in this slideshow. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's 210. That's 210. That's 210, yeah. Yeah. That one. Well, even that. That I mean, doesn't the, have it all either. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't think there is one of the entire parcel, except maybe with the whole development on it. Right. Yeah. And so that we asked them to strike. Remember, we uh, asked them right. to strike that full development. That was toward the beginning. Yeah. So do they want our permission to go in and just use Mass Mapper <coughs> without the thing we sent them? Is that what they're asking? No, no they're they're I mean, Mass Mapper wouldn't have the other subdivision road on it at all of it, subdivision right. road. They're saying that we gave them this, yeah. and we need the original to make a change. I don't think... That and even that map is not correct, because the, the light purple is says a 2.7 acre parcel. We're only buying a one acre parcel. Right. right. That could be split in half. Yeah. Uh, so that's an incorrect slide. Right. 2.27? Yeah. In the, in the bullet point? Yeah. Yeah. The light purple is half that size. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Did they get that from PAR and think it was from us? I think, uh, I don't know, they, well, I think we must have sent them piecemeal stuff and they pulled stuff. They're, they're saying that that's the original they got from the town. Well, if anybody sent it to them, would it not have been Ed? Yeah, I think Ed would have sent it. So he's not here to answer or provide anything yeah. different. Mm -hmm. 
and the and the well, acreage the, is empty. The, the, the right. other slide that was showed actually showed the correct parcel. That you know that really shows, right? That That's that is it. correct. The purple is the four acre. The green is the one acre. Right. So they've got that accurate. Correct. So they're they are showing two different slides: one right. accurate and one right. inaccurate. They had a, you know, early concept, and I think this was a very fine concept because originally they had us. You know, they thought that we had the whole that whole parcel. The two funny slides, but we corrected them, saying we only had just half of that. Okay, so that one is correct. And that is correct, and, and it just it shows the proposed subdivision road, which is just a concept on paper right now. But uh, you know, we I think that's no okay, case. That's an okay photo, I mean, it's a picture. It shows the donated lot. It shows a lot that we consider purchasing. It shows, you know, the proposed theoretical subdivision road and why we had to, you know, consider the green access. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I don't have any problem with that slide. Right. So, and please, Scott, tell me what slide number this is. Uh, 13. Okay, so let's go back to slide 11. Okay. Uh, so they've got the wrong amount of acreage. Whoops. Um, this was their original test fit, which right. we corrected them. The first test fit, they used an entire two acre. We told them, and then they, as the project evolved, they realized, no, we don't have that entire two acre one. Um, Nor do we need it. No, no. I mean, so th this was an early test fit. Yeah. It was, and, and then we fine tune it as a feasibility study progresses. We refined and modified this early concept test fit. Right. So we, do we leave that slide in and let them describe that? I think they just want to say that. Uh, I think that the, 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 they need probably go to verbalizing about it, but I don't know if the slide's really helpful. Just I think it's confusing. I mean, the photo. I mean. Should, can they? Can we eliminate the photo and put the additional correct acreage in there and leave the other? Because those points, those bullet points, are valuable enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the bullet points are good, except for the first one. If we could just take out that red future roadway piece, that slide would be okay, wouldn't it? No, no. Because no. run. Oh, or if they just put that other photo, another photo, yeah, on there, it yeah. would be better. Just yeah. swap the photo. Um, so put the photo from slide 13. Slide 13. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that we can explain that. I'm a difficult time okay. explaining this one. That's a good idea. So just replace um, slide 11 photo with slide 13. You know, if they have two of the same pictures in here, I don't think it'd be a big deal either. Yeah. One, one discusses the test fit scenario, and the other one discusses the actual site and the attributes uh, mm -hmm. about the site. Mm -hmm. And Scott, could you please go back to 13? Okay. So the language is good in 11, except for the size of that parcel. Or, or we, yeah. can, we can leave that, or that clarification that Mark was just talking about, the two point whatever acres on that other one was an early... Early concept. But, That's fit. Oh. So we don't even want it, right? Because... <coughs> Do you want to just take the first one, right? No. 11. We don't well, yeah, because they're not, not the showing image. now with the two purples that are there that... Yeah, if you go back to slide 11, sorry. <coughs> There's a couple of bullets there. Right. So those, they're distinguishing the light and the darker purple, which won't, if we take out that picture. They'll have to change the color on the, uh, on the legend. Uh, that is true. 
uh, because to, if they're going to replace, put the number slide number 13 here, they'll just have to change the legend. They just use that legend. Yeah, j use the same legend. So, um, I think the other extreme, uh, the blue bow pointer test tells them why they had to redesign for a smaller parcel acquisition. But I think they're discussing, they, they originally designed for a big parcel, but now, as we fine tune it, they just got this designed for the smaller parcel. Okay. So do the bullets on the, I'm just trying to take notes, do, do the bullets on the language on the 11. slide 11 bullets stay or go? Those first two bullets. Um, the, I think they stay, but I asked, my, my notes say to request that they change additional 2.27 to 1.1. Yes. And change the color. Is, the that, is that what it says on 13, one point? Right, yeah. So yeah, just. Mm -hmm. Plus or minus, yeah. Use the same language there. Yeah. Yeah, and just use that, that, that layout, that's, that photo, whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah update yeah. the uh, parcel sizes and uh, unless, unless they want to go through the process, since this is what they did in the original test fit. Uh, and, uh, and then, we're going to lose people. It's yeah, it's going to be a I mean, long we, we can't do a straight our heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to substitute the picture from slide 13 and correct bullet 2 in terms of its acreage, right? Uh, no, cor correct bullet 1. Bullet 1 is correct for this slide. Bullet one, so the second bullet in oh, bullet second one. Bullet. Second bullet. Yes, yes. Yeah. The sub bullet. Right, we 1.1 acres. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's my note. <laughs> <laughs> and they can use the same photo twice. I mean, I don't think it'll matter. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a flash in the pan during the presentation. Okay. I had two other quickie questions. Those were, I think those are all the ones that they had asked us to get from mm -hmm. Back on the very first one, the best practice uh, fire station, it's the one with boxes, right? The red and blue boxes. So here we were talking about best practices. So we've got the decon rooms and the discussion about you know contamination and so forth. So right now though, we use East Hampton to do the, the washing of the right. turnout gear. Right. So, and I'm totally forgetting, in our design now, are we asking for that to be in our station? Or would yes. there still be? No, we would have our own. We'd have yeah. our own. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And mostly it's for, uh, you would decon the, uh, your gear if you were in a hazard, hazardous call or a fire call. Mm -hmm. um, what we have to do now is we have to get somebody to bring the gear up to East Hampton, wash it. Um, they've been good up there, they'll, they'll swap them into the drying racks and then we have to go back and pick them up. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a that? delay because, you know, then nobody has their gear. Yeah. So if there's another call. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we pay for that? Uh, there was a grant years ago, this was going back when uh, Chief Motter was up there. Him and uh, Chief Workman got a grant for a uh, a machine, but they have since uh, replaced that machine. <coughs> so, yeah. so we don't. It's free. We don't pay. Right, right. They, it's, it's a small room. It's just about a small room with a washing machine and a dryer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And you said just frequency. I'm just trying to envision a question that might come up. I mean, you're trying to avoid anything that looks like a bell or a whistle here. That's yeah, all. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, these these are cleaned every after every fire after. Every yes. Fire. Yes. Yeah. And so Chief Fasoli will yeah, answer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what I was trying to, you know, that we're just ready to think about any mm -hmm. craziness that <laughs> so no. um, And I think there was one other one on plan option development, uh, two or three slides. Uh, and this the the decon stuff, that's one of them health safety right. new codes, right? Yeah. So somewhere there was plan option development. I don't know what slide it was. It's after the one we just talked about, I think. Uh, uh, 
preferred site plan development, Chris, or plan, plan option, option development? Where they plan talked about the carports <coughs> and the shooting range. So yeah. that would be slide 14. Okay. Uh, plan option development. Okay. Yeah. So here, both options considered. So this is just my question. That third bullet, both option or fourth bullet, the considered including freestanding carports. I know later on it's talked about. But I guess I was wondering, should we say something right there too, considered but decided not to include or something? Considered but rejected. Does that, <coughs> what, we're, what I'm looking at here was what Charlie provided. So this wasn't the revised one. You have the revised one. They haven't, they haven't um, corrected that in the 401, the latest. <coughs> That's the same one. Oh, I've got. sorry. <laughs> I think that's the one. Yeah, I don't have any difference with that. I don't think. Because the chief told, or was there a fourth? Is there a fourth two? Maybe I'm missing one. There was a second re reference to shooting range and carports. Yeah. I, I think there is think. another one later on. Um, Let's see if they change that, if we can find it. I think it was just in the uh, final cost. It was in the cost analysis. Yeah. They had yeah. the, uh, and they uh, took the, the sl they slashed they the, the prices. They put it off on the side or something. It was like $3 million or something. They put it off yeah. on the side. Right. Yeah. Um, but well, right, they, it was there, but before you get to that, I mean, it doesn't hurt to say that. Um, well, they they should say in as they present this, because we did, they did include those options, and we discussed the options and eliminated them. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I think I, these these maps are showing. Am I right? They're showing the carports and the shooting range on these drawings somewhere. Are they not? Mm. Are they? I don't. I don't see it. Yeah, at the bottom. So the, the gray on the right. very bottom. Yeah. Carport. Carport. And then the right uh, range left of the fire station. So there's there's oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. So. So since they're, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just. I mean, it, I don't think it hurts to say we, you know, examined it and, and realized it's... Yeah, examined it and... We didn't know if it was going to cost $10 or, you know, $20 right. million. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's beneficial to let yeah. people know that we yeah. have eliminated things yeah. due to cost. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But maybe, too, that, you know, um, that we looked... I mean, so this, this is showing that if we had accepted or if we accept the idea of carports and the shooting range, this is where they would be placed. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That, I mean, that's... Yeah. The clarity, I think, that might need to happen. I don't know if you can put that in a bullet easily or not. Um. <coughs> but it does show later on that we have eliminated yeah, them by the, the... So, again, from my point of view, I don't know that people are going to be that discerning while we're going, going from it. slide to slide. Uh, I'm like, yeah, after a 20-minute yeah. video... <coughs> Right. They're not going to ask the question until the end. We, they're at the get to the end, they're already going to say that yeah. we eliminated it. Right. So yeah. okay. that question will probably come up. Okay. Do we have any prediction how long this meeting's going to? We have two hours uh, from seven till nine. So it, the way I believe it's going to go, and I'm open to input, of course, is that um, there'll be a very brief introduction, welcoming to the audience, to HKT, um, just my saying that we've been working for more than two years and that we're sharing wh where we are, and uh, this is an opportunity for people to comment and ask questions. <coughs> Then we'll each introduce ourselves. And I was thinking about that a little bit. It should be more than just Mark Mancino Systems. What are you? <laughs> Engineer. Uh, I mean, I just have a background in uh, mechan building mechanical systems and energy management. Right. But just to say, additionally, I worked at uh, I managed the systems at Basketball Hall of Fame and the Julio Dam, whatever. I mean, I, just mm -hmm. to give them a little bit 
of information, very brief information about the breadth of your knowledge. Doesn't that make sense to add just a little bit to show the audience, demonstrate to the audience that we are, we have various good skills? Mm -hmm. Yes, just a little bit more. Sure. Okay, but again, to, to be as brief as possible. And then, and then it will be the video. Move right on to uh, HKT, the PowerPoint. Five minute break for people to submit their questions on paper if they want to. And then the rest of the time is open to questions uh, and answers. Okay. Okay. So I have three other questions, if you indulge me. Mm -hmm. just, um, just so we're all clear, on the preferred plan development slide, I don't, I don't know, what, I couldn't find the numbers of these slides. I'm sorry, I, I'll tell you. It didn't show up on my thing either. Probably further down. The other preferred one. plan development comes after, um, so that would be slide 13, 14, 15, 14, 15, 16, I believe. So there, there was a focus on firefighter health on the third one down. Mm -hmm. And what struck me was there was nothing that also said why we're doing this for the police. Mm. You know, so focus. So another bullet, if possible, on focus on on police security and functionality. It it just it felt a little lopsided when I read it, but hey, maybe I'm being too picky. <laughs> no, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. um, well, okay. The Sally Port. Well, they don't really say much about the Sally Port. But I mean, just down at the bottom, South right. Important yeah. Detention. So they just talk about the, you know, where the police administration is located, but that doesn't give a strong rationale for what Ian has been talking about in terms of security and functionality. So I think if we could add those couple words in the bullet somehow, would be helpful. Focus on police. He, he brings it up in the video, but yeah, it should be up here. I think it should be here too. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I, on police what and functionality? Secu um, security? security. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. okay. so I, I put, I wrote that in um, at the top of the, so that would be the two, four, fifth bullet down right after fire administration. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. okay. That sounds like what? Um, and then just in terms of when they get to the one that talks about um, elevation, you know, elevation option development. Mm -hmm. And that's that the one, next right? one. Yeah. yeah, so is there, is it worth it to have a, a bullet? Maybe they'll talk about it, but I'm just wondering, because people that aren't there are not going to hear this. They're going to read it online at some point in time. Mm -hmm. So would it be helpful to have a footnote as to the advantage of sloped versus flat roof? <coughs> or why? Why we've gone with a flat roof? Is there any? I don't know how they could do that, but I'm just wondering. People see these two and just says that we've gone to option two due to the flat roof, but it's like, well, why? We had our our internal discussion about do we really want a flat roof in New England? <laughs> I mean, yeah. so I would just anticipate that coming up. I don't know, uh, but if there could be a half a sentence that said why that's, or they can talk about it more in their presentation, maybe I don't know. That's all. Okay. That's all I had in my thought. But. Okay. <clears throat> now being twenty till six. Um, is there anything else we need to consider? When the, the chief said he'd be in touch with me tomorrow when he gets back, we know he said that um, he had index cards. Do, do we know where we're getting pencils or pens? Can they be gotten from like the, the mm -hmm. voting? Yeah, do we have a stock of pens and stuff here? Um, I'm sure I can find some. <laughs> I mean, we need to, you know. I mean, worst case, I'll just run the Dollar General and pick some up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the the uh, voting, you yeah, know, there are plenty. Maybe from the town clerk's office. Maybe. Oh, is that? Okay. And uh, so 
uh, we will meet at six. <coughs> Yeah, Do we want right. a whole hour? I I would think yeah. so. We could. We're yeah. set up and everything. I don't know what's going to. We're just going to meet over there, right? Mm -hmm. At Norse. Yeah. 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 And do we know what time HKT would show? Or are they gonna I haven't answer? heard. No. If they would aim for that. We're just let them know we're planning on being there at six. I'll let them know that. And I'm going to um, ask what we need to provide for them because it's a long trip for them so it would be good to have probably a few bottles of water just yes any of the speakers at least we can usually scrounge around some buy a few often uh, my guess is they'll bring their own but um <clears throat> uh, we need to have them on hand i guess for all of us right I hate to use bottled water, but bring your own. Yeah. Just bring your own, okay? Yeah, it makes it easier. Mm. <clears throat> and we'll supply it for Janet, <laughs> Janet and um, Amy. Um, it, what am I forgetting? Anything? Well, we talked about last time providing easels. So we can... Yes, and Charlie is uh, said that he had five. He dropped them off. And I, and I am correct in remembering. Do, do other people remember him saying that? Yes. Okay. We uh, uh, okay. So we also had contemplated um, having. I think we decided on a hundred question and um, answer hard yeah. copies. So. Uh, yeah. So I've got that on the website already. I can give that to Judy tomorrow, Scott. If that's okay. She can print off 100 mm -hmm. copies of that. And then one of either Scott or you, Chris, will be um, responsible for getting them to uh, the Norris. Mm -hmm. I will. So 100 copies of the FAQ, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And then Ian had the projector? Yes. Charlie's going to bring his too. Okay. Yeah. And we're okay with two stamped media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Yeah. But I think too. I mean, you know, depending how this goes, if people, you know, I guess I would just say, having been to various meetings, let's not let each other hang out there. <laughs> I mean, hang out and like. <laughs> you know, deer in headlights. If if somebody gets stuck with a question, one of us has got to be ready to pop in and try to help. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and about a second um, forum. Obviously, that's undetermined right. time-wise, but I think we can assure them that we'll plan on a second forum closer. So, oh well. So Scott, are we uh, and Chris, are we suggesting that the or, or stating that the town is hoping to buy the entire parcel? How are we going to fit? Your question. Um, yeah, how are we going to fit this site plan that we have for 125 into what's now going on for negotiations? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, when we go over the draft warrant articles tomorrow. Yeah. And that would show up there as an article would be to buy the entire thing. So it would be known somewhat. I, th I think we can say that, you know, we had originally started out with, I mean, a lot of people think that this entire thing is a donated parcel. So I think we have to be very clear that <coughs> the donation has only and always been four acres, to my knowledge. And because it would be landlocked, should we accept it, that's what's led us to this notion of the front commercial parcel, but then trying to look long term and talking to various committees and departments in town and our long term needs, you know, we were really considering and in negotiations about the possibility to purchase the entire parcel. 
and that's probably all we would end up saying. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, when you say we, um, we the town. <laughs> well, that's not, not the, the question. Not the the that would be for oh, people, right. either Scott or myself. Yeah. yeah, right. That the town is contemplating it, not the right. public safety right. building. Right. The town is contemplating this and in negotiations currently with the landowner. So mm -hmm. that would be clearer before town meeting. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but I think we have to let them. We I think there's a misconception out there that everybody that drives by and sees all of that property, yeah. that whole thing was 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 going to be a gift, which is true. Mm -hmm. So, um, we may need three or four forums to make all the yes, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> give people all of the information. I had. Well, there will be a second informational meeting, I assume. Yeah. Yes, yes, and a lot of the, what what is raised, the questions that come up, mm -hmm. we need to make sure are fully answered. Not this time necessarily, but at the next forum, we yeah. want to make sure we have clear answers for all of the uncertainties that have been raised. Okay. So when. Uh, speaking you know during the question and answer are we going to be getting up to the microphone or are they going to be on the tables probably getting up to the microphone there's probably going to be one up i don't know how they're going to set up because i know you know at the regular town meetings you guys just kind of yeah if we have, have a right? handheld mic we had a handheld just... mic at, at yeah that's possible we'll see if they've got i'm sure you stand media would come with that so it's like we're, we just had a handheld mic and we just, as we read the articles, we just pass the mic down the table. So that probably could, yeah, that could probably work. We should just be sure. I think that would be fine. Yeah, good point. That seems reasonable to me, the best thing. Yeah, because, you know, somebody has to get up and yeah. then sit back down and somebody else gets up. Yeah, and right. And yeah, just yeah, I think sliding it down amongst ourselves. I think people that ask questions need to get up and come to the mic, wherever right, the mic right. is. Yeah. This, there'll be a standing mic as well. But I, and I think that the person answering the questions should stand, but not move necessarily. It just seems like, well, you know, if you get the mic, you just stand up and hold it and make your answer. No, that's better decor, maybe. I wonder what the turnout's going to be. You know, the church scheduled a chicken dinner tomorrow night or Wednesday night. Yeah. It's earlier though. Like, isn't it like 5 30 or 6? I don't know. It's a little bit earlier. I mean, we're not till 7, so in terms of being on online. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, get a few people. Are you going to be there, Barry, to urge people to move on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not planning to go to the. I don't know. No. I, I have, actually am supposed to. I have to be at a training in Rhode Island the next morning at 7 30. So I'm going to need to bolt right out of our meeting Wednesday night. Yeah. Um, and then that will also lead me to ask, um, I, I'm of the opinion that uh, once we get through this forum, we should have a little bit of a break because we've been meeting once and twice a week for quite a while. And I don't mean a long break, but I'm, we were meeting once every other week, right? That seems more reasonable. But I do think that we should probably meet next Monday just to review and and talk about the, the forum how it went how it went and um, then pause just at least even for one week and reschedule after that mm -hmm. but are you in agreement that we need to meet um, the a week from today mm -hmm. to review Wednesday evening okay so I'll post that all right um, does anyone have anything else? So what time is that meeting? Uh, that would be 4.30 next Monday. Uh, next Monday is a holiday. Oh. <laughs> That's right. It's a good yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Only in Massachusetts. <laughs> Patriots Day in Massachusetts. Okay. <laughs> so we can't. <laughs> So let us then just postpone, since it's harder to get people on other afternoons, let's push it off till the following week, all right? 22nd. 
constituents. Thank you for bringing it to. Well, I guess I couldn't even post it, wouldn't I be told? On they'd probably kick you out. All right. I so I was just reminded of it today. Yeah. Okay. So 4:30 on April 22nd. All right, uh, may I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks for coming. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.